Ladies and gentlemen, now today we're back for a cheeky Saturday night seven star crystal opening. So we're going to be opening up the seven star incursions artifact crystal. I did not think we'd be getting one of these to open for at least like another month. But the Caps and Listman event brought an incursions event into the game this evening. And just like defeating opponents in incursions, super, super quick and easy. Uh, you get like just under 150,000 fragments. So it's almost like half of this crystal. Or man, it's a really considerable amount, um, and I think just one thing to um, note because like artifact gained from incursions has gone crazy, dude, especially with the incursions revamp as well. It's kind of like a big decision if I was like more on the free to play account because you've got the, the kind of big decision of like, do you go for one seven star incursions artifact crystal or do you go for almost like 67? four star hero crystals and get like all of the ISO um, and like potentially like sell the ISO for gold if you need it. Uh, and like free to play do one of the big things I was struggling with was like um, uh, ISO. So I think, you know, considering what this crystal has in, which is like a lot of seven star champions, like all of these champions, man, I, th I think there's like no bad champion. There's no champion that I'd be really upset about getting, but there's one I really, really want to get, man. Like Hulkbuster by far is the best one unawakened. A lot of the others like require ideally their awakened ability and high sig. So again, that they've really like got you with this crystal, man. It's like, okay, you're going to want to do like a lot of incursions to get these champions, get them awakened. But Angela, like crazy good character. Again, ideally you do want her awakened, but still good unawakened. Like Cap as well, still pretty decent unawakened. Unawakened, Holt Buster, by far the best Unawakened, at least in my opinion. Uh, Mojo is still um, uh, very annoying to fight, and I think still pretty good in Battlegrounds, even Unawakened. Namor, I mean, he's still got the damage Unawakened and like the regen. It's just like the damage reflection, which again, really is the thing that makes uh, Namor like such a spicy champion there. And Ronin, I mean, Ronin is, he's a character in the game. Uh, so there, there is that. Like, R Ronan's kind of cool in his own way, you know? He's got some stuff he can do. Ronan's probably, like, my least one, and I would say out of all these, which means we get a Ronan today. Uh, but anyway, we've waffled on long enough. So, yeah, it's kind of like a decision. Um, uh, if you are struggling with ISO, like, I, I do think there's, like, a valid thing to consider if, like, you just want to go for the four-star hero crystals and get, you know, 67 dupes worth of ISO, which is, is still pretty damn spicy there. Um, however, we're going... We're going for the win, boys. We are going to get that hot buster today. And I'm saving up as well. You're going to notice in my stash, man, we've got a, a lot of things that we are um, uh, saving. We're also going to open some Paragon Crystals today. Uh, but here it is, the seven-star Incursions Artifact Crystal here. All of these wonderful seven-star champions, dude. Hot buster is the dream, man, is the dream. Who did I say is second? Um, I don't even know who's second, bro. Maybe Angela. Maybe Angela. I do love Cap as well. Mojo's also up there. I just... Just anybody that's not Ronan, <laughs> I think, is what we're going for here. Um, but Hulk Buster, ideally, come on. Okay. So the first Incursion 7-star crystal is going to be a 7-star version of Angela. Dude, I'll take it, bro. I will very, very happily take it. Angela, absolute banger of a champion again. If we can get her awake and get that mitigation to damaging debuffs and also allow her to um, uh, bypass auto block, that'd be very nice as well. Uh, but I do want to see what she's capable of, like damage wise, um, as like a seven star rank one champion. So I think we're going to have a bit of fun testing her out. Again, just for doing incursions, man. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, not even like properly doing incursions, dude. Just absolutely chilling there. But we're also going to go for some Paragon Crystals as well. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was decent, man. That was decent. Again, we can't get the Hulk Buster on the first one. This is, this is a journey. It's an adventure, but hey, we're halfway to having the, um, uh, Awakened Angela now. And I have a feeling they're gonna, you know, it's not gonna be too much longer before they start adding in like seven star Awakening gems and sink stones and all that. And Angela, especially after the buff, maybe, um, is she the most powerful out of all of that? Potentially like when Awakens, because she does... She does do a lot of stuff after a buff, man. Counts a lot of nodes and scenarios. So yeah, so that was pretty good. I, I would say she's definitely maybe a bit more relevant than Cap is in the current meta. Like Mojo is still, oh, oh, dude, I thought we'd get that Mangog. Dude, I would love a Mangog for Battlegrounds. He's uh, he's a bit of a beast on um, 
uh, defense, man. Super annoying champion to fight. But I think... What is it? What's all the rage in Battlegrounds at the moment? It's like Ronan stun cheese. <laughs> like five-star ascended Ronans. Just seen so many of them, man. You know, the opponent doesn't have a way to like break out of that. They are, they're getting clapped by Ronan because you can like cheese it off the uh, the prowess node that's uh, currently in this season. It's a bit of a, a bit of a funny season. A Hyperion, man. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, I'm, I'm believing there's a second seven-star champion on the line. But the thing is, like, even after that event and the, the Caps one, I don't think it's going to take, um, you know, too much more time. Probably, like, you know, two or three months. Maybe maybe a little bit quicker if there are some really good events, especially around the anniversary. Uh, to get back to another, like, 400,000. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Oh, okay, dude, six-star war machine. We will very, very happily take that. That's another dupe uh, for the seven-star shots. It's been up for a four-time seven-star crystal opening. There are, like, new champions coming into the base seven-star pool from uh, the Titan crystal as well. So I don't know whether, like, to save up. There's so much I need out of the base one, though, that I think I'm just... I think I'm just going to open, like, seven-star champions soon and do, like, a big kind of quadruple... Uh, seven star crystal opening because I want to like awaken Domino. Shuri is like, ah, oh, champion I really want at the moment. Sunspot as well. Dude, Sunspot is ridiculous. I feel like Sunspot, um, not enough people got him as like a five or six star champion until like seven stars came out. Or like maybe they had like other mutants they wanted to rank up, you know? But I feel like Sunspot coming out of a seven star, he's actually getting the appreciation. Uh, from a lot of people that didn't really play him before, which I really like. Because, like, I remember um, back when I was doing tier list, I kept Sunspot and Beyond God tier for a very, very long time. I don't know if I've ever, like, demoted him. <laughs> I, I just, like, I love him way too much. He just demolished, like, everything in Story Quest. So, yeah. And now Battlegrounds, dude, I mean, he just finishes matches so incredibly quickly that it's starting to get, get a lot of love, which we'd love to see. Okay, now's that five-star domino there. Okay, we got 10 more crystals, boys. 10 more crystals and a dream of a second seven-star champion here. And it's going to be a five-star version of Dr. Irrelevant. Fantastic. Yeah, when, I mean, you know, the first champion, like, I thought of when I saw that they're doing the full Iron Man rework that needs, that not only needs but deserves a rework is Dr. Strange, dude. There's one champion that, like, needs that proper, proper, like, go back to scratch and, like, make him just absolutely phenomenal. I th I think it's OG Doctor Strange. That would be amazing. And then release him as a seven-star champ. Oh, God, that would be really spicy, actually. Yeah, I, I want to see that, dude. I, I really hope they do that at some point. But I hope uh, whatever metrics that they're looking for of success this month for my man are on, uh, on point. Because I, I don't know about how some of you are feeling about this month. But um, like the last, I would say, five weeks or so, probably like the most I've ever felt rewarded for playing Marvel Contest the Champions. And it just makes me want to do everything in the game. Like I've been doing a bit, you know, Alliance War, Alliance Quest for the... Um, the Caps event, smashing out incursions, like monthly event quests are finally relevant to actually do the, the event itself, plus the side. Just like last five weeks, dude, Kaban been cooking, man. A lot of things feel in a really good spot at the moment. I'm curious, like, how long it's going to hold for as a seasoned Marvel Contest of Champions player. And I, I, I know many of you feel this as well. We're just waiting. It's like, where's the scam, Kabam? When are we going to get rugged? <laughs> you know, where's the... Uh, we, we're getting a lot of, uh, uh, I don't know, a lot of chocolate at the moment. But where's the baseball bat? You know, Kabam, they always come out with the baseball bat, bro. Just just beat you down emotionally. And it's been... Uh, we, we've been having a, a party. We've been having a great time the last, um, you know, month and a bit. So I'm waiting. The <laughs> I'm waiting for the scam, boys. Oh my gosh. Okay, this this stack has not been great, dude. The first stack was uh, a little bit better, getting you know six star war machine, but it only takes one crystal, right? One crystal. 
Not this crystal, though. Maybe the final one. We'll see. Dude, I'm, I'm still pretty happy about that 7-star Angelo, though. I need to, um... Yeah, just see how she's good, how good she's going to be as well as uh, an Awakened one. Because she, she's still got the damage. Still might be able to do some, some things. Still got the regeneration as well. But uh, overall, those Paragon Crystals, much like all of the Paragon Crystals in this game, were not that great. I actually do feel, especially with the amount of 7-star shards that they're adding in in characters, they kind of already need to buff the Paragon Crystals, at least in my opinion, because they are, they're just like not that appealing to, um, uh, to purchase when there are so many ways to, you know, play the game and get 7-star champions, because the rates are, they're just bad. I mean, they're beyond bad. They're absolutely terrible. Right, there we go. Dude, a seven-star version of Angela. Yeah, I'm pretty damn happy about that. I'm just trying to think, like, what's going to be the best one? Like, crit rating might really allow her to pop off. Or is it, like, crit damage that's going to be a little bit better? I need to kind of play around with the uh, rotation. I doubt it's going to be prowess just due to the fact her special attack damage is um, uh, notoriously bad. So, yeah, it's probably going to be, like, crit rating or crit damage. So... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see with uh, Angela, but ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's uh, seven star uh, incursions artifact crystal opening, please do smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching, take care, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.